overall that the pitching staff did this evening? Um, really good. Um, you know, Greeny obviously giving us two strong innings there. Um, and then Sess really, you know, to, to be able to pitch us through into the middle innings there and be really pitch efficient, I thought was, I thought he was really sharp. Um, you know, a real clean three innings for him. And then, you know, for <clears throat> able to roll out our guys there, um, had them all lined up. So, um, just a really good, um, pitching performance uh, by by a lot of the staff tonight and Roe did a great good job behind the plate and a uh, good way to finish up this homestand. Britton had said he was fine. You had him checked out to make sure there was nothing with the Achilles. It was simply a calf cramp. But were you still anxious to see him get back out there and, and make sure of it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and you know, I thought he might have been, you know, kind of, uh, you know, being careful of it, even though, you know, he feels... He, he feels normal, so I was watching closely the whole time, um, you know, and have him get through it. I think's a, a a nice step for him uh, moving forward with it. We've asked you a lot about Glaber Torres this year and last year. Another home run for him tonight. What do you think it is about him? The fact that he's just 22 years old and he just seems to be unfazed by by everything. Yeah, he's a, he's a great player. Obviously, um, you know, he's he's a smart player that. Um, you know, wants to wants to be great at this, and uh, uh, you know that, that play there in the in the ninth inning to to start off that inning, handling that in between hop uh, and, and getting that first out. Um, he just continues to really improve at everything in the game, not just you know obviously 34 homers and and all the offense that speaks for itself, but the little things he continues to get better at as well. Brandon. Your starting pitchers have performed better of late, but how seriously would you guys consider an opener in the playoffs? Uh, that kind of scenario is certainly possible. Um, you know, we'll just see. You know, we'll, we got to kind of see how this month unfolds and, you know, see how Seve and, and Dellen potentially getting back kind of fit into the mix um, where they're at. Um, so it's something that, that certainly would be on the table for us because it is a way we can go and feel like we can really be effective. Ron. After watching Aaron drive the ball with authority the last two weeks, do you look back and think maybe the first six, eight weeks after he came back, no matter what he said, somehow the body still wasn't quite at full? Ron. After watching Aaron drive the ball with authority the last two weeks, do you look back and think maybe the first six, eight weeks after he came back, no matter what he said, somehow the body still wasn't quite at full strength? No. No, because I, I actually think he was swinging the bat the first probably three, four weeks as good as he has all year. I, I, you know, I think, you know, all the, all the Aaron questions that I was getting were, really looking at a kind of a two, two and a half week window where he, he was a little bit off. Um, but I think leading into that for a few weeks, I thought he was swinging the bat great. And, uh, you know, you know, I, I still think he's, he's going to continue to swing it even better and get into a better place, especially as these games get more important and, and we get into the, hopefully the next month. Uh, I, I think he's in a really good place, physically speaking. Dan. Is the way Sessa has pitched the last whatever it is four times? I think th mm -hmm. does that put him on the on the map for a, a, a playoff spot for potentially? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean Sessa's had a really good year. You know, he had a maybe a month in there where or a handful of outings in there maybe in May where he he, he was struggling a little bit, but uh, you know for the most part he's been a guy that's thrown the ball really well for us in in some different roles. I think he's he's gotten better at being able to get um, both handed out um, and obviously a guy that can give us some length, but we feel like has some versatility in some of the roles he can provide. So sure he's he's certainly in that mix. And do you think Zach moved okay on the on that grounder to to first? He, no, he didn't move. <laughs> no, I mean, that's that's a ball he's got to get over there and cover. And, yeah, so I, I don't think it had anything to do with that. I think it was just a, a lapse. And maybe maybe being the first time out there, being cautious with it. Um, so, I, you know, and checking with him right after because I was checking on all that and making sure, um, you know, I do feel like he's fine. Um, but I think he, in his mind, probably needed to get out there and do it a little bit and kind of, make sure he could push through it and not have any issues.
Dan, do you want to pass it behind you? Going back to Judge, who's obviously more well-known for his offensive capabilities, does that throw from the outfield to second remind you that in the fifth, does it remind you that his defense is also just as credible? Um, I mean, I guess, but we, we never take it for granted. You know, he had a nice play earlier in the game on a, on a kind of soft hit ball into right center where he comes flashing, where he gets a perfect jump on the ball and makes a nice play on it. You know, it's one of those plays we've seen so often where – you know, we see a ball go to the wall, especially here, and, you know, we're almost like hoping the guy runs because we know he's he's going to – he does such a good – he obviously has a great arm. I mean, he's got as good an arm as you can probably have, but he does such a good job of not speeding himself up or rushing, um, and, and he's, he's extremely accurate with it. Um, so, I mean, we're, we get – we get a little spoiled with seeing that ball go off the wall, knowing he's going to be in perfect position and make a play. Mark, did you have a question? Anybody else? Ron? Labor tweak anything when he stumbled coming out of the box? No, it was obviously another time we're a little concerned. I'm, you know, I didn't see him flashing, and um, I saw him kind of stumble, and I picked up the ball, and then, yeah, I think it was just that. I think it was gathering himself back to start running. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Let's take another break here on the post game.